everyone, and welcome to HeroClix Headquarters. Today we've got a modern Avengers team build for you, so let's check it out. So, any good team has to start with a good figure. So we're going to start with the Captain from the Captain America and the Avengers set. This guy, for only 45 points, like, let's take a quick look at his dial here. He's got six clicks of life, um, none of them with below an 11 attack for only 45 points. Uh, got five range, indomitable, some form of movement attack on every click, and the Avengers team ability. So that is insanely good for only 45 points. Um, and then he also has a trait, Living Legend. The first time each game he'd be KO'd, uh, you may instead turn him into his last non-KO click, roll a d6, and heal him half the result, protected pulse wave. So not only does he have about six clicks of life, he could potentially have two to four more after that, and that is nuts for the points. But that's not the only reason we're playing him. The main reason we're playing him here is uh, this trait. At the beginning of the game, choose one to last this game. The captain loses the soldier keyword and gains the Marvel team ability of your choice that isn't uncopyable, or the captain can't have his combat values modified uh, by other characters and can't have his attack rolls rerolled. We're going to use the first option there, and he's going to... Oh, there's a lot of good team abilities he could copy, um, but... Let's bring in the next character here, Hawkeye, uh, who is a wild card here. So he's also really good on his own uh, with the Assembled Avengers trait, and we will have uh, six characters on this team in the end, so he'll be able to use both effects. Um, if he hits a character and rolls a 5 or 6 uh, after actions, you can remove a token from him and place a token on an opposing character. So that's going to be really good if that goes off a couple times. Um, he's also got a traded Precision Strike, and he can use Precision Strike and Range Combat Expert with uh, more than one target, which is really good um, with his triple target 12 attack. Um, and he's got another uh, special on his speed here. He's got running shot, sidestep, and stealth. So he's very mobile and uh, protected from range with the stealth. And a quick look at his dial here. Now the main reason we're going to use these two together. They make a good combo. If you wanted to use the captain to pick maybe the Avengers initiative team ability so that he could see and move through hindering terrain, that would be good on its own. But we're going to use the captain to pick the Sinister Syndicate team ability. So we're going to be borrowing that 12 attack value that he has. Um, if you don't know what the Sinister Syndicate team ability does, uh, adjacent friendly characters with that team ability uh, can share their attack values. So he's going to be borrowing a 12 attack. He's got an 11 attack the entire dial that uh, somebody else could borrow if anything were to happen to Hawkeye. So how are we going to really put this into effect? We're going to use Blade here, also from the uh, Captain America and the Avengers set, on his 50-point line. And uh, as you can see, he starts with just charge, blades, combat reflexes, uh, pretty basic stuff. He's got Indomitable and uh, 5 range. He's also a wild card, so he will also be able to copy the Sinister Syndicate team ability from the Captain and borrow the 12 attack from Hawkeye. And he has a lot of stuff going on for him. He also has the Assembled Avengers trait, like I talked about on Hawkeye. He's got uh, another trait here that gives him stealth and improved movement and targeting through hindering terrain. So that'll be very helpful. Uh, he's got, uh, when he KOs a character with a monster or mystical keyword after resolutions, he can use charge at no cost. And this may repeat, which is very good. If you happen to go against a monster or mystical theme team, um, maybe a bunch of Wendigos, I know that's really popular, uh, or teams, the new JLU set has um, a bunch of that Dr. Fate at 10 points. So if they play a bunch of monster mystical people, he can just keep charging and charging and charging, cut through them all. Steal energy is his next trait, so he could steal energy from all of those charges. And um, when he uses it, he can use uh, heal past his blue starting line. So since we are playing him on his blue starting line, 
uh, for only 50 points, will be able to heal potentially all the way up to his 75 point line for free. So we don't need to pay the 75 points if we can get it by just making a few attacks. And then he also has a special on his damage. Uh, it gives him protected from Mystic's team ability, and um, if he hits the character with monster or mystical keyword, they can't use defense powers for that attack, which is also crazy good. Um, against something like the Immortal Hulk, you know, he could slice through him pretty quick, but only getting one attack in a turn might not be good enough. So we're going to equip him here with the Octopus Arms from the Earth X set. Uh, now, what do these do? These give him Giant Reach 2 and Flurry. Um, they also give him improved movement for hindering an elevated train, which is a little bonus there. Um, but the ability to charge Flurry Blades, um, he's going to be able to output a lot of damage. Uh, but just in case, if you haven't noticed what map we're sitting on, we're going to be playing uh, this location bonus from the Earth X Wakanda map. Um, the living spirits will guide us. Once per turn, friendly characters occupying, hindering, or obscuring terrain or water terrain may reroll its D6 roll for either blades, claws, or super senses. So once per turn, he's going to be able to reroll his blades. Uh, so if you roll only one or two, you could reroll it for a potential five or six damage to really get that kill shot on something you might need to KO that turn. Um, but it's also got this extra effect here. If a character named Black Panther is on your force or your force is an animal theme team, friendly characters, blades, claws, fangs, and super senses have protected outwit. So to take um, that to the next level, uh, over here we're going to bring in the Black Panther from the Captain America and the Avengers set. Now we're also going to be playing him at his 50 point line. <clears throat> so he's going to also have stealth, improved movement, and improved targeting through hindering terrain. And he also has the Avengers Assemble trait to uh, take into effect for all the six characters we're going to have. Um, and he also has Blades, Claws, Fangs, and if his attack rolls doubles, he can deal penetrating damage. So once again, that can be rerolled once per turn, potentially, if you need to, from the map bonus effect. And uh, he's got a special on his damage that, since we're playing him on the 50 point line, he's not going to start with it. He's going to start with Outwit, which, with the improved targeting through Hindering Terrain, will be nice if uh, your opponent has a Stealth team. You could Outwit Stealth or some other power they might have. Um, and then Hawkeye could snipe them, or Blade can rush in, and you get that, uh, you get that Outwitted beforehand. It can be pretty helpful. And, um, oh, he's also got improved movement elevated train, so he can pretty much move throughout the whole map um, unhindered, really. Um, and so he also is a wild card, so he's also going to be able to take advantage of the uh, Sinister Syndicate team ability. And now we need a way to keep all these guys together. I like to carry people, and so I'm going to use a cheap... There's a lot of good options to carry people right now. But I'm going to use a cheaper one and go with Black Widow from the uh, Avengers Black Panther Illuminati set. Um, now for only 35 points, she is a decent option to carry. Um, because for 5 points, she can start with the Space Gem equipped. And that's really how she gets the ability to carry. Because this gives her uh, Speed Plus 1, Phase Teleport, and Passenger 2. And if she hits with an attack with a 10 or higher... Uh, you can place a hit character eight squares away, which is a bonus if she makes any attacks, which she could because she's also a wild card. So she can also copy Hawkeye's 12 attack and a with a four range double target incapacitate with a 12 attack for only 35, 40 points really is pretty good, especially because she's really just there for the carry. But if she gets a good double target and cap off, um, and potentially rolling a 10 or higher and placing them 8 scores away can really ruin your opponent's day. And she's also got a little perplex here to help us out too. If we really need to up our defense, or maybe we need a 13 attack for some reason, or just up our damage in general. So that's going to be her. But now, if you've been following along, we still have 25 points to make up here. 
and we need one more Avenger to fill out our assembled Avenger trait. So we're going to use the aim red squad for only 20 points. Uh, this guy's a pretty good generic. Um, he has this trait at the beginning of the game for all characters with this trait, choose empower or enhancement. Um, and you can use the chosen power of this game. If they are part of a name theme team, you can choose both. So this is a name theme team. So he gets both empower and enhancement for only 20 points. He's got a little bit of sidestep there so he can reposition uh, that as needed. And he's gonna be what I like to call my designated theme team probability controller. So he's gonna be just getting tokens for theme team probs if um, if I don't have it. As long as I don't have any other options, he's just gonna be he's just gonna be our prob controller. So now we still have five points remaining, and there's a lot we could do. We could maybe play a WWE ring, we could maybe play a Mandarin ring. We, uh, if this wasn't modern age, we could do an ID card or something. But what I want to do is I want to bring in the suited henchman. Now for only five points, this guy uh, from the Batman the Animated Series set, he doesn't break theme team, which is awesome. Um, at the beginning of the game, you have to roll and to determine what click number he's going to start on. So we're not really going to rely on him for too much. He's kind of just here to give us the uh, Underworld team ability. And what that's going to do, since all of our characters pretty much are wild cards, the Underworld team ability lets you use the carry ability, but only to carry characters you share a keyword with. And if you're higher, if they're, if they're lower points than you, you can carry two characters. So with that ability, that lets um, Hawkeye potentially carry um, two people along with Black Widow carrying two people. So we don't have to use too many actions to get around the board. Um, and uh, that's going to help us out and especially help us out to get Blade over to equip the Octopus Arms on, on our first turn. So that about does it for this team build. All right, if you like this team, go ahead and leave a like on this video. Uh, if you might change something about it, go ahead and let me know down in the comments. Or if you use this team, let me know how well it does for you. I'd like to hear of that. Um, and go ahead and click that subscribe button if you'd like to see more videos like these. That really helps us out. Until next time, this has been HeroClix Headquarters, signing off.